And then the last thing I want to touch on before we get out of here, I've been seeing some of this on Twitter, and Justin brought it up. There's oh. this debate going on of what fan base is better, the Bengals or the Browns. I defended Jamar Chase a lot. I'm about to crap all over the Bengals right now. On what <laughs> basis do the Bengals so, have to say that they're better than the Browns? So on Around the Horn during a commercial break, Two of the, I don't know if you guys ever watch Around the Hornets. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's awesome. So they got basically four guys, and they just debate all the stuff they eliminated, and blah, blah, blah. So they got into an argument about what was the best fan base in Ohio, whether it was the Bengals or the Browns. And the one guy basically said, you know, the Bengals are an ascending team. Their fan base are super loyal, blah, blah, blah. Said Browns fans, the only people that care about the Browns are the people in the stadium. And uh, it's crazy because it's like, they couldn't even sell out a playoff game last year. We were selling out 0-16 yeah. <laughs> up until like the last couple of games where people were like, this team is absolutely atrocious. Who, who said that? Who said that uh, you know, the only people who I care will, about the Browns are in the I will stadium? Pull, I will find that. You guys talk about that's it, a ridiculous and I will pull comment. it up. For, I mean, that's... The Browns it's traveled... kind of disrespectful. That's the, <laughs> 100% untrue. <laughs> the Browns traveled almost as well as anybody. Well, We have Browns backers clubs literally in London. Yeah, everywhere around the world. Yeah. We have people on our Patreon from Scotland. Yeah. And we're, I mean, we're literally nothing special. We're just the dog's podcast in this <laughs> little ass studio. <laughs> and we have people from Scotland. That's how devoted Browns fans are, you know? And like he, Justin said, we sell out games in the crap weather. You, up until they drafted Burrow, you, half the time you forget about the Bengals. Even when they were mm-hmm. relevant for a couple of years with Palmer, you don't even remember that they're in Ohio. I yeah. don't know one in, in single Cincinnati. Yes. I don't remember I don't know one single Bengals fan. I know one Bengals fan. And then I, I all of a sudden saw about 30 of them when they made it to the Super Bowl. <laughs> all of a sudden there was a lot of Bengals hats around. So the person that said it was Clint Yates. Oh my that guy's an idiot. <laughs> okay. He's but, 100% um, an idiot. Yeah, go ahead. You can continue to uh Like I said, well, I know Ravens fans personally. I know a, a crap ton of Steelers fans. Obviously, I know Browns fans. I don't know one Bengals fan personally that I can say, oh, yeah, that guy's a Bengals fan. They, they almost, the only people that care about the Cincinnati Bengals is like the little southwest corner of Ohio. And like the parents of the players and stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the band kids' parents that come. Like, Well, to so, be fair, there was quite a few. I ran into a lot of Bengals fans in Columbus when I was down there. Okay. It was because it's right in the middle of Ohio. So it was kind of split. And then, of course, you'd get like the Steelers fans. Like, where are you guys coming from? But, well, I was going to throw this out there. I spent three years in South Carolina recently, and I met so many Browns fans. Absolutely. Yeah. A lot of Steelers fans, and obviously Cowboys, Patriots, um, Eagles, Ravens. I didn't meet a single Bengals fan. <laughs> Not one. <laughs> no, so. But you're in South Carolina. <laughs> But like I'm saying, I, I yeah, met it's not, yeah. I met teams from or yeah. fans of teams from every corner of the country, but no, no Bengals fans. <laughs> so this is the direct quote from him. He said they were talking about the white helmets, which they're, those uniforms are pretty sweet. Yeah, oh, those, the Bengals those have sick are damn, unis. They're, they're dope. Oh, yeah, I do but, like their unis. But he said you got to drop these helmets. You know, these things would sell out immediately. He said that's one of the most rabid fan bases in terms of like soaking everything up. And Tony Reale was like, "What?" <laughs> but Tony Reale don't. Uh, I got to change the word I was going to use. He don't mess around. I was going to say, you know, bull S. <laughs> but, um, and then they basically said, hey, you know, Yates said, are you familiar with the fan base? You know, and then basically said Browns fans are apathetic. Only people that care about Browns football are in the stadium. I've literally seen, tr- last year there was a waiting list to get training camp tickets. If it you was, don't get them welcome. right away, you can't It was hard to get training camp tickets last year. Was yeah. it though? <laughs> well, not if you have a connection. That's right. Uh, That's right, baby. And our connection isn't somebody cool. It's literally just Justin. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Uh, so somewhat cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, th- but that's like the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Yeah, for sure. It's awful. I mean, that is that is terrible. And I'm not, if you are a Bengals fan, I'm not trying to say like that you guys aren't passionate. I'm just trying to say there's way less of you. <laughs> <laughs> way, way, way less. It is if the if the Cincinnati Bengals win a Super Bowl, most of Ohio will continue living their lives. If the Browns win a Super Bowl, you will have to shut three fourths of this state down. Oh yeah, for sure. It, it Cleveland will burn. <laughs> well, and, the, and like you said, Justin, like we were selling out when the team was awful. We went through how many years of just we were selling out the zero sixteen season. 
And the fan, and you would talk to a Browns fan, they say, "Oh, I'll never stop being a Browns fan." Well, according to Clinton Yates, those are the only fans in the state. Or, at, in per, the, <laughs> or you know, Tony Rally even put out a poll and it said, "Is it embarrassing that I've never met a Bengals fan?" <laughs> <laughs> Tony Rally is a straight savage. I I really like that guy a lot, but um, unreal. That's that's a terrible take. Clinton Yates should be fired for that. What's going on, Browns fans? The action never ends at DraftKings Sportsbook, especially this summer. With tons of ways to bet on all your favorite sports, you can fuel your fandom and feel the heat of the season like never before. Plus, right now, DraftKings Sportbook is giving new customers a risk-free bet up to $1,000. It's a lot of dough. That's right. Make your first bet up to $1,000, and if it doesn't win, you'll get another shot to cash in. You can throw down on all the uh, major action on baseball, golf, MMA, and more. Plus, with same-game parlays, spreads, money lines, over-unders, and props, your betting options never feel endless. Best of all, DraftKings is safe, secure, and reliable. You can deposit and withdraw your cash whenever you want. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code TPPN. Make your first deposit and get a risk-free bet up to $1,000. That's promo code TPPN only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Look forward to betting with you soon and minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. God bless. 